Hey guys, welcome back to What Is She Cooking? Okay guys, so on today's episode, we're going to be making chicken and waffles. That's right, you heard it, chicken and waffles. But you know Danielle, she always got to do something different. Also, I'm extra, but whatever. Our waffles won't just be any type of waffles like the pancake mix, no. We're going to be making jalapeno cheddar waffles with the chicken on top and we're going to do a country white gravy drizzle over it yeah get into that it's all good right so i like to be different so instead of doing like the syrup and all that making it sweet we're gonna make it sweet and savory oh yeah get into that get all that yeah just pull it in and release that was good yoga right there got that from a yoga instruction uh instructor uh anyway just kidding so what you're gonna need for this recipe you're gonna need some cornbread you can get Jiffy cornbread, you can get Mrs. White, you can get whatever cornbread you like. But this is what I grew up on, so this is what I know, okay? So you're going to also need some milk to go on the cornbread, some sugar. Now let me tell y'all something. Everybody, sugar don't go in cornbread, sugar just... Mind your business, tell your mama, okay? Because sugar goes in cornbread where I'm from. My mama always put sugar in her cornbread. That's the only way we can eat it because it tastes like cake. So I'm going to put a little bit of sugar in there. We're going to put some sharp cheddar in there. Can't do anything without the jalapenos because if the food ain't spicy, I don't like it. I ain't eating it. If it ain't spicy, I ain't eating it. You're going to need some flour, some water, and also some salt and pepper to make that country gravy because it's going to be from scratch, honey. <sighs> ain't never did this before. So if it get burnt, we just going to have to do the chicken and waffles. Y'all find out how to make white gravy on your own, all right? And then I have some chicken here that I've been letting marinate. Oh, that's going to be good because that chicken all moist and stuff. Got the seasons sitting right. But yeah, anyways, make sure you have a waffle maker too because you can't make waffles without a waffle maker. Unless you know something I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, this is all you need. I'm going to start whipping this up and then I'll be right back with you guys. All right? guys so what I'm doing is I'm chopping up those jalapenos I'm gonna dice them and make sure I get them really small because you don't want big chunks in your cornbread waffles now I'm gonna add in the cornbread then add those jalapenos to it I'm gonna add in that one tablespoon of sugar one egg one third cup of milk and then the half a block of cheddar cheese I'm just gonna mix that up and mix it up and mix it up. Next time I get that batter ready for the chicken. It's gonna be one cup of flour, one cup of breadcrumbs, a half a tablespoon of paprika, a half a tablespoon of cayenne, and then you're gonna do a half a tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. And I'm gonna mix that up first. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add a half a tablespoon of garlic powder. Now for the dip to make the uh, batter stick, I'm gonna go ahead and add two eggs and some mustard. And I'm gonna mix it up and then I'll be able to add that chicken to it to dip it in and then put it in like that flour mixture. That's what I'm doing right here. Now I'm just gonna put these on the rack until I, my grease like heat up. You want to get your grease real hot on the stove so it doesn't take forever to cook and it only take these wings about 10 minutes to cook so here I am putting them in the pan and it's almost like a deep fry see how some of those are going on under the grease I'm just gonna put that in I'm gonna let them cook now while I let that cook I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the cornbread on the waffle maker Now, I will say that I had to do this like two times because that waffle maker is a cheap one. You need to get a, a good one. Now, I'm making that white gravy. So, it's one third tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of flour, add in one cup of milk, and then you're going to add in one teaspoon of salt and pepper. You're just going to mix it together. This gravy was really good. Very proud of myself. Now I'm just gonna plate it. Doesn't that chicken look nice and crispy? It was so juicy on the inside. I should have bit a piece so you guys could see it. 
Now, I wasn't the best at drizzling this gravy. As you can see, I'm using a Ziploc bag, but hey, I did my best. Add some jalapenos to add that spice right to the top. And then just a little bit of parsley at the top of it. And that is our final product, people. Hmm, get into that. Yummy, yummy, yummy. for you today this is our final product it was so much fun making this video one i have never made cornbread waffles before let me tell you if you're gonna make this make sure you have a good waffle maker please do not go to walmart and get that nine dollar waffle maker because your cornbread will not cook in it okay but yeah so we have our fried chicken and we have our waffles and that gravy that you've seen drizzle across the top so yeah this is the final product shout out to my mama she told me i better tell you guys that this is her fried chicken recipe Lord knows that I don't want to get a spanking. I'm, I think I'm too old for that, but she don't. So yeah, Sylvia, thank you so much for giving me this fried chicken recipe to put on what is she cooking. But yeah, so yeah, this is the final product. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And tell all your friends and family to come and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Keep God first in all that you do. And I'm out.